so in this video we will learn about touchable native feedback it's a wrapper basically that gives proper response to touches in android devices android and ios both have unique response to the touches to user touches when you uh, when you are interacting with a component on ios devices uh, uh, you, you will see a different type of response when you touch the buttons and any other component and just like that android gives other types of response so this touchable native feedback is specially for android devices that's why i have opened the android's emulator over here uh, you cannot see this effect on ios simulator so keep that in mind and first of all create a react native project and open it uh, in visual studio code first of all we need to import the text as well and the touchable native feedback so when you touch on android devices you will get a ripple type of effect uh, i will show you in a minute first of all let me just create a state called ripple overflow by default it will be false now let us create touchable native feedback so in touchable native feedback we need to provide some props on press whenever user press we will set this Exclamatory mark ripple of pro so that when it will be false it becomes true the next one we prop that we need to provide it background touchable native feedback dot ripple now the color of that ripple let's say red and ripple overflow so we provide boolean values as we have created the state for it and the uh, ripple color will be red now let me just create a view let me give some styling we'll be create a touchable style a text let's line touchable native feedback let's also give style to text now let us provide that styling first of all touchable let's provide flex 0.5 border color will be black now 
Well, the weight will be 1. Now for the text. Let's say align self will be. Center. Let me just save this one. And let me just go through it again. We have created a state for the ripple overflow. Uh, for that uh, animation. Then we have created a touchable native feedback component. Under that we have created a button. This is here is our button. A view component and a text component inside of it. When we press the ripple overflow function will set it to true. And background will be uh red with ripple effect so let me just save this so here you can see the touchable native feedback and i've created a larger button so that you can uh, notice the effect let me just click on it as you can see this type of effect uh, we want from android devices it will create a ripple type of effect so let me just change the color to blue let's say you can also create a state for let me just say const ripple color let's say set ripple color use state by default let's say yellow and you can use that ripper color over here let me just save it as you can see you can also create a function uh, to randomize these uh, color so that every time you press the button you will get a different type of color let me change it to black so this is how you can create a button and wrap this around touchable native feedback to provide a more a rich experience to touch in android devices so that's it for this video and keep in keep that in mind that it will only works on Android devices if you write this on iOS devices you will not get any effect so thanks for watching